In the Ukrainian counter-offensive, it seems like Russia is making more gains than Ukraine. It's day 482 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Starting from Paddy Hatke. In my yesterday's video, I reported how Russian forces have recaptured the village. But after that many Ukrainian sources claimed Ukraine has recaptured it again. Looking at the situation, it looks like the village has changed hands at least three times in a very short period of time. Currently both sides claim the village to be under their control, so I would consider it a contested area. Many sources have reported that the village is almost in ruins, as both sides have been hitting it with various types of ammunition for many days. But you can confidently say, the Ukrainian offensive in this area is stalled, so they tried to change the direction. Ukrainian sources reported that their forces attacked in the direction of Lohave, but according to the sources their attack was repelled by Russian forces. Ukrainian sources claimed they downed seven Russian UAVs and one KA-52 helicopter around Patihatki. Now moving to Orykiv sector. In my last update I reported how two Ukrainian columns are getting ready to attack Russian positions towards this area. As per report, they did attack, but Russian forces were able to repel the attack. After that Ukrainian forces got one big surprise, Russian forces after regrouping, launched a massive surprise attack towards Malatok Machka, and as a result, they were able to recapture all the lost positions. Currently Ukrainian forces have tried many times to recapture it, but have failed all the time. It is said that fields are littered with destroyed equipment. Now moving to Vermevsky area. Since my last report nothing significant has happened. Ukrainian forces continued their attack on all the usual positions, but no gains were reported. But Russian forces are expecting a big push anytime. Now moving to Marinka, after a very long time we have some updates. As per recent reports, Russian forces after recent attacks were able to capture this small area. Russian sources say, this was a very important area to capture. Now moving to Bakhmut. Ukrainian forces continue to attack surrounding areas. If we go to south of Bakhmut, normally Ukrainian forces attack Russian positions around the settlement in low intensity. But yesterday they launched an intense push towards Klishivka. As a result they were able to take a couple of positions under their control. Both sides have acknowledged this advance. Now moving to north of Bakhmut, Ukrainian forces have been trying in different areas to advance, but they failed most of the time. But yesterday they launched an attack from Orykovo Vasilivka, and as a result were able to capture some heights. Now moving to Kremina. It looks like Russian paratroopers went on offensive around Kremina. As per report they launched an attack towards Yampolivka. As a result they had some success in advancing, but at the moment, Exact advance is unknown. On the other hand, Ukrainian forces tried to attack in Serebryanki forest, but Russian sources reported that three SRG were put out of service. Now moving to Kupiansk, Russian forces, after some pause, went on offensive in different directions. Some Russian sources say they reached the outskirts of Kupiansk, but that's not true. They had some success, but exact advance is unknown. Videos of many Ukrainian soldiers surrendering were shared online from this area. Subscribe for more frontline updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.